Thank you, Todd. Um, hello, I'm Endu Emuche, IBM Fellow, Cloud Transformation and Engineering. I am really delighted to be here to share some important news around how technology can be leveraged to combat racial inequalities. IBM is a founding partner in Call for Code, the largest tech for good initiative of its kind anywhere in the world. It's a successful global program, which for the past three years has been addressing some of the most pressing, intractable, unprecedented interconnected challenges of our time, including COVID-19, climate change, natural disasters, leveraging the unique ingenuity of more than 400,000 developers in almost 180 nations around the world. Earlier last week, on October 13th, IBM announced Call for Code for Racial Justice. This encourages adoption, incubation, evolution of open source projects to drive progress in three important areas. First, police and judicial reform and accountability, diverse representation, policy and legislation reform. Today, I'd like to announce that the Call for Code for Racial Justice team is contributing five solution starters to the open source community, really to galvanize, to accelerate that progress towards a more inclusive, equal, equitable world. These five solutions cover topics, including voting, including incident response reporting, local legislation and policies, and assistance to public defenders. Together with partners such as Black Girls Code and Collab Capital, Call for Code for Racial Justice is inviting developers from around the world all of you on this uh, conference to apply your skill sets, your ingenuity, your passion to drive meaningful change around equity and equal equality. We believe that the open source collaboration model is such a powerful force that can make this sustained meaningful change happen. Now you can learn more about Call for Code for Racial Justice as well as IBM's perspective on the role of open source technology in diversity and inclusion by attending two sessions today and tomorrow. In one of the sessions, I would actually be a panelist. Uh, in the other, I'll be moderating a panel of experts on this topic. You could also visit the IBM digital booth uh, to learn more. Now I'd like to introduce my colleague, Brad Topol, to share some additional news and information. Thank you very much, Brad. Thank you, Andu. I'm Brad Topol, IBM's Distinguished Engineer for Open Technology and Developer Advocacy, and I have some very exciting announcements. First, join me tomorrow for my moderated theater presentation at 2.30 p.m., where I will be announcing the Call for Code Regional Award winner, and also giving a very fun presentation on Kubernetes, and we'll have uh, two free book links as well. But I do have a big announcement for today, and that is the IBM Open Source Community Grant. The IBM Open Source Community Grant is an effort by IBMers to take action and to have a positive impact on open source by driving efforts to create and sustain a more, a more diverse technology workforce. The grant awards $25,000 in cash and $25,000 in IBM Cloud credits. I had the honor of announcing the first ever IBM Open Source Community Grant Award last year on stage at All Things Open. And we awarded this grant quarterly ever since. Now for the winner of this quarter's IBM Open Source Community Grant is Black Girls Code. Black Girls Code's mission is to increase the number of women of color in the digital space by empowering girls of color ages seven to 17 to become innovators in STEM fields, leaders in their communities, and builders of their own futures through exposure to computers and technology. IBM is powering in their mission with $25,000 in cash and $25,000 of IBM cl cloud credits. We couldn't be happier to help them in their mission. And if you have an open sourced focused nonprofit that, is, that you would like to be under consideration for an IBM open source grant, please contact an IBMer who's working in your open source community to nominate you. And once again, congratulations to Black Girls Code.